the NFL has been around for decades, but the league seems to understand that any business needs to adapt to survive, and that's why it's using artificial intelligence to make the game safer. National correspondent Dan Grossman explains. Baseball might be America's pastime, but football is America's sport, and it's a sport that has come under scrutiny over the last decade or so for the amount of injuries that occur in it. But the NFL and all 32 teams are trying to make it safer. So while you're in the stands watching the game, AI is working behind the scenes, crunching millions of numbers every second. We refer to the field as the gridiron. A checkerboard of hash marks where teams battle as they throw themselves at one another in a celebration of violent sport. But while players are on the field exerting themselves, Ben Peterson sits comfortably in a chair, crunching numbers collected from that battlefield. Yeah, I probably start my day with a couple graphs and end my day with a couple graphs. And as long as everything goes well, I normally don't have to do any graphing in the middle of the day. Ben is the vice president of health and performance for the San Francisco 49ers, a job that is exactly what it sounds like. Keep players healthy and available. It means Ben spends the better part of his days staring at screens as he interprets data and uses those conclusions to guide training and rehab. People think that if you interact with a lot of data, it kind of isolates you. I think it's the opposite effect, though, because it gives you a lot of things to talk about. This year, one of those things he can't stop talking about is his new assistant, the digital athlete, an AI tool that helps him analyze the thousands of data points that come from every play in a matter of minutes instead of dates. What's really helped with that is you get off of trying to do the analysis, and you can spend way more time with the player. Or you can spend way more time talking to other people on the staff, right? You can spend more time communicating with the coaching staff. The digital athlete is a 3D rendering of your favorite player the NFL created with Amazon Web Services. It takes any play, runs it at every angle, and in any condition, millions of times. Taking that data to see when players get hurt most often, where they get hurt, and how they get hurt, allowing people like Ben to see the results so they can better guide player safety in practice and on game day. What's the best way to maybe sequence plays or how can you structure practice in such a way that coaches still get all the quality work that they feel they need with guys? We can still install the playbook. We can still be running certain aspects of the install. But we know that if we do these parts first, it's a lower risk type of a play or a lower risk type of drill. And we know if we complete those multiple times and we can start to add stuff later on and the risk then is actually decreased. The technology began development in 2019. Last year, the NFL piloted its use with four teams during the season. And this year is the first time it's been available for the whole league to use. We think about a healthy roster as a healthy, healthy team. And with the longevity of our season making into postseason, you need a healthy roster. Jennifer Langton is the VP of Health and Innovation with the NFL. And she says much of the innovation we've seen over the last few years, whether it be not allowing players to initiate hits with their helmets, tripping, or launching at another player have been made in large part because of the data gathered by the digital athlete. There is a potential to revolutionize not just health and safety in the NFL, but also to address injury detection and prevention in other organizations, whether that's other helmeted sports and sports leagues, but hospitals, uh, physical therapy centers, you know, military, as well as businesses as well. This just shows us as our injury rank. The information seems to be helping. According to the NFL, concussions are down 25% since 2018 compared to the three years prior. And according to Ben, the Niners have seen fewer soft tissue injuries this year than they did at this point last season. Showing this isn't just a gridiron. It's a landscape of data waiting to be gathered and studied. I, I definitely think it's good for the game. Um, I'm always biased. I think more information is good. You just have to understand again how to use it and action it. Dan Grossman, Scripps News, Santa Clara, California.